Have you ever wondered what could happen to your body and mind if you engage in gaming every single day? In an era where digital entertainment has become a staple, it's a question that's crossed many minds. We live in a world where the virtual landscape is as familiar to us as our own backyards, where epic battles and fantastical quests are just a click away. And gaming, well, it's become a daily ritual for many. But what does this mean for us, physically and mentally? Are there consequences to this digital immersion? Could our passion for gaming be reshaping us in ways we don't fully understand? These are questions that have intrigued scientists and gamers alike, sparking a growing body of research. Over the course of this video, we'll explore some of the most intriguing findings about the impact of daily gaming. So if you're curious about the intersection of the virtual and the real, you're in the right place. Well, buckle up as we are about to delve into the physical and psychological effects of daily gaming. Gaming can be thrilling, competitive, and even relaxing, but what happens to your body when it becomes a daily routine? Let's take a moment to consider the physical effects of daily gaming. First off, there's the sedentary lifestyle issue. When you're immersed in the virtual world, it's easy to forget about the real one. Hours can go by without you moving from your chair, and before you know it, a whole day has passed. This lack of physical activity can lead to weight gain, muscle weakness, and even more serious health problems like heart disease and diabetes over time. But it's not just about the lack of movement. There's also the position you're in while playing. Sitting hunched over a keyboard or controller for hours on end can strain your back, neck, and shoulders, potentially leading to chronic pain and posture problems. Then there are the hands and wrists. The repetitive movements involved in gaming can cause a condition known as repetitive stress injury, or RSI. This can lead to pain, numbness, and decreased motor control in the affected areas. And let's not forget about the eyes. Staring at a screen for hours on end can cause digital eye strain, also known as computer vision syndrome. Symptoms can include blurred vision, dry eyes, headaches, and even long-term vision problems but it's not all doom and gloom. There are ways to mitigate these risks, like taking regular breaks, doing physical exercises, practicing good posture, and using proper lighting to reduce eye strain. So while gaming can be a great way to unwind and have fun, it's important to remember that our bodies weren't designed to sit in one place and focus on a screen for hours on end. Like with anything, moderation is key. As you can see, daily gaming can have significant physical effects, but what about the impact on the mind? The mind is a battlefield, and daily gaming might just be one of the soldiers. Let's explore the psychological impact of this popular pastime. Now we've all heard the age-old adage that too much of anything is bad, and gaming is no exception. For instance, research suggests that daily excessive gaming can negatively affect our attention span. As games often provide immediate gratification, they can condition our brains to expect quick rewards, making it challenging for us to focus on tasks that require long-term effort. Our next point might sound familiar to some, the potential for addiction. Video games, especially those with a competitive element, can stimulate the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This dopamine rush can lead to craving more gaming time and in severe cases result in gaming disorder, recognized by the World Health Organization as a legitimate mental health condition. Before you start worrying though, it's not all doom and gloom. Gaming can also have positive psychological effects. For instance, they can improve our problem-solving skills. How many times have you been stuck on a level only to figure out a creative solution after some thought? This kind of strategic thinking can translate to real-world problem-solving abilities. Moreover, games often require us to make split-second decisions, effectively training our brains to process information more quickly and accurately. This can lead to better decision-making skills outside the gaming world. Additionally, gaming can also provide an escape, a virtual world where one can take on new identities, challenges, and experiences. This can be a form of relaxation and stress relief, contributing to overall mental well-being. Finally, let's not forget the social aspects of gaming. Multiplayer games can foster a sense of community, teamwork, and cooperation, helping to build social skills and combat feelings of isolation. So, 
Daily gaming can have a mixed bag of effects on our psyche, but is there a way to balance things out? The key to enjoying the benefits of gaming without the negative impacts lies in balance. But how does one achieve this? Let's dive into some tips for maintaining healthy gaming habits. First and foremost, taking regular breaks is crucial. You wouldn't run a marathon without stopping for a water break, would you? Similarly, gaming is a marathon, not a sprint. The human body isn't designed to remain stationary for extended periods, and neither is the mind. Taking a quick five-minute break after every hour of gameplay can do wonders for your physical and mental well-being. Stretch your legs, grab a snack, or just step outside for a breath of fresh air. Trust me, your avatar won't miss you too much. Moreover, physical activity is a must. It's easy to get consumed by the virtual world and forget about the real one. But remember, a healthy body fosters a healthy mind. Incorporate some form of exercise into your daily routine. It doesn't have to be anything rigorous. A simple walk around the block, a quick yoga session, or even some jumping jacks during your gaming breaks can go a long way. Next, let's talk about setting time limits. It's easy to lose track of time when you're immersed in an epic quest or a thrilling multiplayer match. But setting a limit on your gaming time can prevent you from falling into the trap of excessive gaming. Decide on a reasonable amount of time to dedicate to gaming each day and stick to it. Consider it as an appointment with your console or PC. When the time's up, it's time to log off. Finally, remember to prioritize real-world interactions. Yes, gaming can be socially engaging, but it's no substitute for human connection. Spend time with your friends, family, or even your pet. These connections are just as important, if not more so, than your high score or your in-game achievements. Remember, balance is the key to enjoying the thrill of gaming and maintaining a healthy body and mind. So game on, but do it wisely. So, let's revisit the journey we embarked on today, exploring the effects of daily gaming. As we've delved into this topic, we've discovered that the world of gaming, while filled with endless excitement and challenges, can also have its toll on our bodies and minds when indulged in excessively every day. We began by examining the physical toll of daily gaming. It's fascinating how something as seemingly innocuous as sitting in front of a screen can lead to a host of health issues. From problems like repetitive strain injuries caused by the constant use of controllers or keyboards, to the more subtle effects like a sedentary lifestyle leading to obesity and associated health problems, the physical impact of gaming is real and significant. Yet, it's not just our bodies that bear the brunt. Gaming every day also has psychological effects. We've discussed how prolonged exposure to the virtual world can lead to social isolation as gamers may neglect real-world relationships in favor of their online personas. Furthermore, there's the risk of gaming addiction a serious condition that can disrupt one's daily life and mental well-being. But it's not all doom and gloom. Remember, gaming, like anything else, has its pros and cons. It can foster problem-solving skills, improve hand-eye coordination, and offer a sense of achievement and community. The key lies in how we approach it. And that brings us to the crucial aspect of balance, the cornerstone of healthy gaming habits. It's essential to set boundaries and ensure that gaming doesn't overtake other important aspects of life. Regular breaks, a comfortable gaming setup to prevent physical strain, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle outside of gaming are all important strategies. It's also worth noting that balance extends to our mental approach to gaming. While it's easy to get caught up in the thrill of victory or the frustration of defeat, it's important to remember that it's just a game. It's a space for entertainment and relaxation not a battlefield where our self-worth is on the line. In conclusion, gaming is a wonderful form of entertainment and can even offer a host of cognitive benefits. Yet, like anything in life, it can become harmful when indulged in excessively. The key to enjoying gaming and reaping its benefits lies in balance and moderation. So the next time you pick up the controller or sit down at your PC, remember, gaming is a delightful adventure but like all things in life, it requires balance.